Skip, you are one of the co-hosts of yes. Real People. One of the Real People people. Uh, you are. How did the show get its name? I don't know. I, I should know, but I don't know. I think they, I think they had different names what they were trying to come up with. They had an idea of what the show was, and I think uh, probably George Schlatter finally said, let's just call it Real People. That's what it's about. George Schlatter, producer of Laugh-In and mm -hmm. about five dozen other uh, yeah. comedy shows. Yeah. Yeah. You're from Nebraska. Omaha, yeah. Yeah, and uh, a funny guy. I hey, understand. thank you. Hey, all right. Hey, all right. Listen, tell me a little bit about Real People. How do you go about finding all of those uh, crazy bits? Well, they have a, a team of researchers that work uh, for George Schlatter and I think they, they look in newspapers, they, I don't know how they go about some of these, how they find some of these people is amazing. But I do think, too, a lot of people write in and call in and yeah. uh, send letters and they check some of those things out because all the mail, I mean, people don't realize this, anything you send to a television show or network is read by somebody and is not just thrown away in a waste paper yeah. basket, it's counted and everything goes on. But um, I think it's a combination of the research team and then ideas that people are sending in. The show is done live. Mm -hmm. How do you like doing live? I love it. Uh, I've never done a, as I was just telling you before, the closest I came to doing, that you ever come to doing a live show is like The Tonight Show, which is yeah. taped about uh, two hours before it goes on. But um, this is totally live to the East Coast and the Central Zones when we go on. We go on at 5 o'clock from NBC here, and then it's tape delayed to the, you know, the mountain and, and out here. But uh, it's a funny feeling because um, you, we, we rehearse it. We rehearse Monday and Tuesday, and then we do it Wednesday. We do a dress rehearsal at 3, to 1.30 to 3, and then we do the show at 5. But at 5 o'clock, you, you think you'd have it all down, and as soon as you walk out, you have no idea what's next. Mm. And you have the, they have the Jerry Masterson and those people, who are the directors there on the yeah. floor. If it wasn't for them, I don't know where we'd be, because they come over and say, stand here, do this. I've never done a show where you had to look into different cameras, camera one, camera two, camera three. Tonight's show and all those shows are just, you come out and do your thing, and the cameras pick you up. Right. Right. So it's been an, uh, a learning experience. But there's a feeling when you do something live, there's a tremendous adrenaline that's flowing with Keeps everybody you just toes. before you go on. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, are there any real people in the Atlanta area? I hope so. If you can if you can give us some ideas, we'll be down there. I'd love to come down there. Do you actually ask for people to uh, write in and say, hey, uh, what's I going on? I think so. I would imagine, yeah, why not if you have an idea? A lot of people think we're looking for kooks or wackos. Yeah, we're yeah. Really, really not. We're looking for, as George puts it, the eccentrics who are doing something that uh, that we'd all be interested in. Just a guy standing on the corner with crepe paper on waving like this. That's, you know, that's 10 seconds of what? Yeah. But there, no, really, I think, yeah if, yeah, if you know of something, it would be a good story for us, just send it in to us. We'll yeah, read it. Skip, we'll yeah. keep our eye out for some real people. Yeah, keep here. us on the air now, will we? Uh, we'll do that. <laughs> okay, John. Thanks thank for you. being with right. us.